Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. I'm going to do something a little different tonight. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing when I open something. I acquired this. This is a uh, Coleman Exponent Denali Stove for Extreme Conditions. I have not opened it. So I figured, uh, hey, why not we just look at it together to see how it, how it does open. I believe it opens right here. So let's see what we got in here. This is what I'm seeing. We'll just unpack it together. All right. <clears throat> Comes with a cool bag. Which, uh, well, I can open that later. Okay, we got a bag. Uh, here is our actual stove piece. Set it out. Ah. Looks like it comes with a windscreen. Let's go ahead and open this. A little bent. Yeah, it's a little dinged. Yeah. Come out of the box like that. Let's see what it's all about. Oh, this stuff is sort of, it ain't a hinged, it's sort of pliable. See, it's sort of, it's all connected. So that's why it looks all bent. Sort of made out of a weird material. So, windscreen, I'm going to lay that to the side. Uh, looks here like we have extra parts, tools, uh, gaskets. Uh, looks like you got a different jet, probably for when you use uh, kerosene. The little jet over here to the right, the brass piece, and there's a pricker right there to uh, clean the jets out. And this piece is a piece where you can use uh, the butane type. What's this? Some kind of instructions. Where you put the butane type cylinders on this and plug them in. All right, so you can use the butane cylinders. And here is your pump. So, this must be our canister for our fuel. Oh, it's pretty big. Right here. And here are some instructions. I believe that appears to be all that's in the box. So... What I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, we can go ahead and look at this. Is it locked? Okay, you push up on it and flip it, and then it locks. Push up and flip, and it locks. And that's what the stove looks like. I'll put out. That's your veil. So what I'm going to do is first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the camera off a minute and I'm going to look over these instructions and see because I don't have a clue to what's going on here. And uh, then I'll come back and we'll talk about it. 
you know, things don't look good. All right, we're back. Uh, I got everything set up and ready to go. Had to take some plugs out and this and that. And I uh, tinkered with it before I come back to the video. This stove is different. You got to prime it. So this, I'm running Coleman fuel in it, is the uh, cleaner, it says. So you, let me hold it up here where you can see. That piece right here, we twist this piece and you turn it all the way clockwise. And that is uh, how you clean it. Now this piece is the fuel on and off and this is your pump. This thing, you have to, okay, you got that turned on, and then you have to turn the fuel on. And you know what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and light a torch because my matches are a little messed up. And, I mean, my lighter is messed up. So, I'm going to leave this torch on a very low setting so I can uh, light my matches real quick. And it says use matches. So, what you got to do, move this over here, is you want to turn this on until down in the burner frame. Let me show you here. Down inside here, you see the bowl fill with fuel and then you cut the fuel valve back off and wait for about five seconds so let's try it out just a little bit it says three to four seconds I'm watching I'm watching my needle all right one two three Four, five. Now let's see what happens. All right. Now it says to burn this until it's about to go out. Then you want to turn the fuel back up. It's priming it, and it's a little weird. See how it's doing? I'm gonna go ahead and start to turn my fuel on. It's tight. flame down in the bottom of it not the easiest stove in the world to light that's why I left this on everything's burned out again let's try it again I'm gonna turn our fuel valve on a little bit and fill our priming bowl full of fuel One, two, three, four, five. And come in from the bottom, it says. And so we'll relight my match. Ah, went out. Maybe I'm not priming it enough. All right, we're going to try it again. All right, that should be plenty. I'll cut it off. One, two, three, four. Five. Just watch it a minute. Turn my fuel on while it's making that good sound.
me cut away and get you a better view. Now they said this is supposed to be your flame control. Ain't much flame control to it. I'm cut this down and see how the flame acts. Well, if you're going to cut the flame, it looks like you have to control it with this. I don't know how long it was sustained like that. Yep, see, it went out. And cut it off. All right. And I put some more pumps in it. It's really raging. There's not a lot of control with this stove, but buddy, if you wanted to heat some water quick, I'm sure it would heat the water quick, and that might be what we do next. Uh, you know, I can't find a lot of information about these stoves. Uh, I don't know exactly where they're made. If, if anybody knows anything much about these stoves, leave a comment, and, uh, and we'll talk about them where they're made and stuff or if you have one and what your experience with an exponent multi-fuel and it's supposed to burn kerosene gasoline white gas uh, supposed to burn these which I'm going to try I'm going to read the instructions because I believe things are a little different when you use the uh, butane mix mixture but uh all right man uh i guess uh i guess i'll roll on for now and do some more studying and we'll come back okay i've had time to look over and i've got it hooked up with the gas cylinder right there it's pretty self-explanatory it hooks the same way that the uh, other canister does and this instead of having it this way when you're using gas you go ahead and turn it wide open all right and right here let's see here is your fuel control what it says do 
is uh, right here on the side. Let me show you here if we can get a picture of it. That bottom hole right here. I want to stick a match up in there and uh, into the middle of the burner frame. And that's how we're going to start our uh, stove. And we're going to stick the match up in there. Then we're going to turn the fuel. Alright. Let's get our match going. I'm going to stick it right up in there. views on the stove eh, it's I think it, I like the design of it it's really stable looking but there's no control over it uh, the old peak one I had that took the canisters was a better stove more control and uh, I like the other peak one that I got it's got a lot of control but this thing right here it's supposed to be for extreme conditions. And if you're just wanting to boil some water real quick and boil some noodles to cook with, this thing I believe will do it quick. Instead of making this video so crazy long, because it's already long enough, I'm probably going to end it right here. And uh, I'll come back later and uh, make another video and boiling some water. I'll probably try to make some coffee with it or something uh, and... Uh, We'll go from there. Man, I appreciate everybody being in the shop. Look, I ain't even got my light turned back on. I appreciate everybody being in the shop with me tonight. Checking out this. Uh, let's see. I, I don't forgot what it's called. But like I say, any information we can find on it. It's a Coleman Exponent Denali stove for extreme conditions. So, uh, if you know anything about them, Drop me a line. All right, take care.